Hello friends, welcome to the series of ASP.NET MVC file. Today we are going to study a new topic that is action selector. It is very much related to your action methods. So let us start. Now action selector is an attribute. Now the next question is what is an attribute, right? So attribute is a class. Okay, like an like a um, plain class it is also a class but it is again derived from attribute class then only it will be treated as an attribute class now what is the purpose of attribute class actually attribute classes are applied to another class or another methods okay they are not usually used individually they are always applied to the another classes and another methods now there are ready made attribute classes in c -sharp .net or .net and you can create your own attribute classes also. So here we are going to use our ready-made attribute classes and attribute classes are basically as I told you are applied on the class or methods and syntactically they are applied before the definition of a class or before the definition of a method and inside the square bracket. I am going to tell you how to apply it practically also. First of all let us see what are the action selectors available in MVC. So, in MVC, there are three action selectors. First one is action name, second one is non action, and third one is action verbs. So, let us see it one by one. Now, the first action selector that we are going to study is action name. Now, what action name does? It allows you to specify a different name for your action method. See, whenever we create an MVC application, the first step is to write a, is to add a controller. And after adding a controller, the next step is to write an action method because all the requests and response are handled by the controller's action method. So while defining an action method, we specify the name for it. Okay, but for some reason, we want to allow the user to call that action method by different name. Okay, in that case, generally action name is used. Okay, you can change the method name also directly. But suppose you call that method many times in your entire project. So definitely it is not feasible solution to change the method name. Okay, so better way you will define the action name attribute and allow the user to call that action method by that name. Okay, now the another attribute is non-action attribute. Now again we studied this concept that the public method of a controller class is treated as an action method. Now when any method is treated as an action method, it can be a it can be requested by the browser or by the client. So it will basically it will be basically treated as a request. So suppose for any reason we want to keep that method public, but we do not allow that method to be any request. Okay. Or we do not allow that method to be treated as an action method. In that case, we can use non-action attribute, right? Now let us see this practically. Let me switch to code window. Okay. I have already created an application, MVC application. I added one home controller here and as well as I added about action method and which is returning a view result. Those who are not familiar with view result or how to create an MVC application, please watch that videos. Okay. So here I am assuming that you know how to create an MVC application, how to add an action method, how to add a controller and how to add a view. So here I have already added one view and that view is quite simple. I am just showing the information welcome to code semantic and it's fun learning MVC file. Okay. Using basic HTML tag. Now what is my method name here? The method name is about. Right. Now let us execute this method initially. So how, how I have to call this method? home slash about okay so let us run so yeah, home slash about okay 
we are getting output right okay whatever we specified in our about view it will get displayed now let us define another name to our action method okay as i told you i can directly change the name from here also but suppose you call this method from another controller or from another class from somewhere else in that case you have to change your call statement also okay or many time there is a situation while writing a method method name programmer follow the programming convention but for the from the user point of view we have to define the different name in that case also the action name attribute is a uh, proper choice so let us apply the action name attribute so action name inside the round bracket you have to specify the new name or the name by which you want to refer this method you can specify it in any case actually action methods are action method names are case sensitive when you execute the program okay so got my point as i told you attribute is a class which is applied before the definition of a method or a class and it is written inside the square bracket so let us test it now how will you call it home slash first of all we'll try it using home slash about and we'll see whether we will get output or not okay it is showing that the resource cannot be found now let us try with our new name okay it's work but there is an error why can you guess it okay so basically the error is related to the view okay so when i added a view at that time i kept the name about and this time i change my action method name to about us so what is it's searching it is basically searching for the about us page or about us view and definitely it is not present okay so let us switch to our solution so as you can see here there is about.cshtml page or view there is no about us.cshtml page so here whenever your method name and view name is different okay what you have to do you have to pass the view name as an argument okay those who are not familiar with this please watch the video of view result okay this point will get clear then after you can refer to this video so let us try this so slash home slash about us okay got the output hmm? i think this point is clear now let us see the another attribute that i explained you non action okay so let me write one public method and it is returning a string and let us name it as great and it is returning some message okay return say hello world okay so since it is public definitely it will be treated as an action method it can work as a request okay so let us execute it first so slash home what we name our method greet right so we are getting output right hmm? so you can keep a return type string and definitely works it is exactly like a content result again i'll uh, suggest you if you are not familiar with this please watch the video of content result okay now suppose i want to i do not want to access allow the user to access this method but i want to keep it public okay in that case which attribute or which selector is used non action selector is now let us try to execute it so slash home slash greet right okay now this time it is showing an error okay 404 or the resource cannot be found i hope these two action selectors are clear to you okay 
so let us see the last action selector so the last action selector is action verbs okay so what act actually action verbs represent so your action verb represent your http request method okay uh, all of you are familiar with http request method we generally use two types of request method one is get and another one is post okay currently we didn't specify anything that which method is get method and which method is post method okay at that time we when we do not specify any verb in that case by default all the action methods are treated as a get request okay are treated as a get request method okay so uh, let me uh, tell you about the get method and post method first okay so whenever we want to retrieve some data from the server we generally use a get method and whenever we want to post some data to the server or submit some data to the server we use post method similarly to post a data or to submit a data to the server get method can be used okay so these two methods are used frequently now let us differentiate uh, between two get method is used whenever your data is in small amount okay get method is used whenever your data is not sensitive okay post method is used whenever you have vast amount of data and also your data is what sensitive okay so basically get method post methods all these are used with form tag hyperlink or you can directly type over a address bar okay so you with the help of form tag you can specify the get request and post request using hyperlink or anchor tag you can only specify the get request or when you type directly on your address bar it is also a get request okay so if you remember one point that i define in my action method uh, video that you cannot overload an action method but basically in one case you can overload an action method if suppose you have a two overloads of a method and if your one method is get method and the another method is post method that in that case the overload works but if your both the overloads are the get request in that case it never works so there is one exception means you can overload a action method but what is the condition your both the methods request type should be different means one method should be get and another method should be post so we are going to see this part practically also now mvc it supports different kinds of action verbs http get http post http put and http delete um, actually there are much more uh, http verbs you can browse for that okay but basically in mvc we are going to study this two get and post put and deletes are again used in api generally to change any resource put is used to delete any resource http delete is used okay now i already to told you this about this that get request by default if you do not mention any attribute your method will be treated as a get request okay now let us see this practically let me switch to code window okay now currently our about method or let me create one method separate method here okay so public uh, view result then contact okay then return view so let us add one view here first so right click over here say add view i am keeping the same name as of my method name and let me give here one title just specifying one title only contact us okay now let us try to execute okay i do not specify any specified any action verb so by default it is what default it is treated as as get okay so since it is get since it is get i can access it by typing a url 
or from address bar okay working fine hmm? now let me make it as a post method okay so if i write here http post as you can see here intellisense is showing you the different kinds of action work that mvc support okay so you can specify the http get uh, explicitly also but actually it is not necessary if you do not specify any work by default your method will be treated as get request okay so i want to make it as a post so let us try to execute so slash home slash contact okay now i make this method post method so it is not working i can call this through form tag only from address bar you can call the get methods only remember this thing from address bar or by typing a url or from using a anchor tag or hyperlink you can call the get method even using form tag also you can call the get method but post methods are called using a form tag only and we are going to see this part uh, in upcoming session so thank you